we are discussing different variations of recursion direct indirect we are having the nested we are having excessive recursion we are having tail recursion out of them in our previous videos we have discussed direct recursion indirect recursion nested recursion in this video we are going to discuss excessive recursion now what is the excessive recursion i'm going to discuss that one please watch the previous videos for this direct indirect and nested recursions and we have explained each and everything with the proper examples now see we are going to discuss our excessive recursion look at this particular program it is very simple this particular uh, algorithm is actually depicting how to calculate the nth number of the fibonacci series here we have considered let the place numbers if we pass the value of n is equal to 0 then the fibonacci number will be 0 that means if we pass 0 it will be 0 if we pass 4 as n the fib will become 3 if we pass uh, say uh, 6 as n then i shall get 8 as a fib so in this way this is my fibonacci series the series values are like this and this is the required place number okay so this algorithm has been written on that see if n is equal to 0 or n is equal to, is equal to 1 that means for the first places the n is same as that the fibonacci numbers so fib is equal to n and return otherwise i'm calling fibonacci the same function fibonacci i'm calling with n minus 2 and let the output be as fib a i shall call the same fibonacci function with n minus 1 the value thus obtained will be kept in fib b and you know that we, if you know the n minus 2 uh, uh, 12th uh, place fibonacci number let it be fib a and n minus 1 1th place numbers fibonacci number let it be fib b then if you go on adding then i shall get this fib if you go on adding then i shall get this fib and return so in this way this particular algorithm has been written okay you see two times i have called this particular fibonacci from the fibonacci function body and that is the very good example of excessive recursion see here for the sake of simplicity instead of writing the function full name fibonacci i have written fib only okay now if i call for fib 4 that means n is equal to 4 then it will call for n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 because 4 minus 2 and 4 minus 1 so fib 2 and fib 3 and those two values will get added those two values will get added here okay fib 2 means it will call fib 0 and fib 1 because n minus 2 at first then n minus 1 now fib 0 when it will be called so n is equal to 0 so fib is equal to n so it will have the value 0 and then fib 1 so when n is equal to, is equal to 1 then fib is equal to n so the fib will have, have will have the value 1 so now 0 and 1 will be coming for fib 0 and fib 1 so now they will get added to give the value for fib so this 0 and 1 will get added and this fib will have the value fib 2 will have the value 1 now on the other hand side we are having this fib 3 because 4 minus 1 is 3 when i'm putting this 3 it will be calling 3 minus 2 that is fib 1 and 3 minus 1 that is fib 2 so fee 1 fee 2 will be called and fee 1 will match with this particular condition that is n is equal to 1 so fee will be equal to n so fee 1 will be having value sorry fee 1 will have the value 1 now here the fee 2 2 is not matching this conditions so it will come down here so 2 minus 2 so fee 0 will be called and 2 minus 1 so fee 1 will be called and we know that for n is equal to, is equal to 0 or n is equal to, is equal to 1 then fib is equal to n so for fib 0 i'll be getting 0 for fib 1 i'll be getting 1 so now if we go on adding if we go on adding here i'm getting 1 this one and this one i'm getting here 2 so this one and this two i'm getting here 3 so ultimately fib 4 will put the value 3 in fib fib 4 will put the value 3 in fib let me check yes at the fourth place the term is 3 so in this way this particular algorithm can be traced here and this is known as the recursion tree for the function called fib 4 
So in this way, I have demonstrated my algorithm which is depicting the variations that is excessive recursion and another there is a recursion tree. So I think you have, you have got the idea what is excessive recursion and how it can be implemented. In our next video, we shall go for another very famous example of this excessive recursion that is Towers of Hanoi. Please watch that video because that will be in the continuation of the same topic that is excessive recursion. Please watch the next video on Towers of Hanoi and thanks for watching this one.